Hey everybody, I was just walking past my native tank here and I looked over and noticed one of my crayfish is trying to make an escape. So I've mentioned many times that crayfish are escape artists. Not only are they able to manipulate things with their claws a lot more than you might think, but they're also really strong and I'm a little hesitant to use the word clever, but they almost seem like they're clever, whereas they just are so determined they eventually will figure a way out. They'll find the little crack or the little opening or something and they will get out. And don't think for a moment that they can't climb right up an electric cord. They certainly can. So the way I set this tank up was the electric cord in that corner is my only weak spot well I've got one in each corner this one powers my pump but as you can see I've got the piece of Lexan right up to the edge and then I've got that rock holding it down and that's certainly too heavy for the crayfish to lift up my concern however is this lip you see how it goes underneath and if that crayfish gets all the way up to the top and gets a hold of that lip and makes his way along the edge he can then still get out and so far I don't think I've lost any but it's no guarantee that I haven't the most I've seen uh, recently is four of them at one time and there was five of them in here you can see this corner is a similar situation but this is a much smaller rock I mean that's still pretty substantial but Again, it's got that lip. I keep it snugged tight against the cord so there's no way they can fit out. But can they crawl along this lip and get to this edge and then just go right up and over? Uh, one of the things that I've had a problem with is this piece of wood that's finally sunk. It was floating, or at least this end was floating, and the current, when the pump was pumping a little more, my filter's a little clogged right now. It's one of the things I gotta get done today is clean that filter out. And when the water's flowing properly, it moves the water around in the tank significantly, and this piece of floating wood would often come up against the glass and touch the glass. And any crayfish could just stroll up that thing. It wouldn't even be a climb. And then it would be right there at the top of the tank and go right over that edge. I find uh, crayfish from time to time. I actually just found one uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was cleaning up in an odd corner of the basement and I found an old desiccated crayfish from who knows when. I've had so many over the years and they've, you know, most of them have either gotten eaten by other crayfish or have gotten out and vanished only to be found months and months later, um, you know, desiccated, dried up in a corner somewhere. So we'll have to wait and see how this one plays out. I'm going to uh, keep an eye on it. I'm going to think about a way that I can maybe block that edge a little more significantly, even if it's just wedging a piece of rubber in there or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure how I could do that just yet. I suppose I could goop silicone all in there, but that would more or less ruin the top. I don't know. I'm not going to stand here and think out loud about how to do it, but that is my one weakness as far as letting the crayfish go out. That's pretty much why I set the tank up the way I did. You'll notice my tree there in the middle where the water comes in is freestanding in the middle of the tank and it doesn't come even close to any of the edges. And that was purposeful. That was designed to prevent the crayfish from being able uh, to get to the edges. Again, my only weak spot is where these cords go in. And you can see this crayfish, well, you can't see it that way, can you? Um, you can see this crayfish is really, really having a go at it. And we'll see how far up it goes. So there you go, everybody. Just a little look at my crayfish as I was walking past. Thought that was interesting enough to shoot a quick video of it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget this one is my native tank. I'll see you real soon in the next one.